Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Marvin McKenzie. I hope you can see this picture all right. Uh, this came from uh, Mike Hobbs uh, scope yesterday morning on action uh, plans to get leads. Uh, and so he started out, I'll tell you what, I had to watch that, that scope five times. I think it was, um, not even sure I got all of it after five times, just wanted to, you know, just wanted to get it over and over that idea of the bucket on the right hand, the long term, even better results and the, on the left hand. And then on the right hand, the bucket results now kind of thing. I wanted, saw that thing and thought that was interesting, but he started out with this picture. This was how he started out. Stay on designated trails. <laughs> and uh, so I saw that several times over the day and, and just thought it was interesting, you know, that he started out that way. You know, there's a lot of wisdom right there in that phrase, stay on the designated trails. I know I live in Washington State and uh, very often we're, uh, my wife and I'll go on hikes and so forth. And, and, and very often we see this very same kind of sign, stay on designated trails. Uh, when you're out on the beach on the Pacific uh, Ocean and you're walking, they don't want you to get out off of the trails because they don't want you to destroy the, the, the natural grasses, the wild grasses that, that grow out there. Um, I go up into the Cascade Mountains and do hiking and, and, and visiting and seeing things. And there's a, you go up into Mount Rainier, the National Forest, and when you hike up in there, they there's lots of times you'll see a sign just like this, stay on designated trails. It would go up to uh, Mount St. Helens after where they've got an interpretive center uh, from where the mountain blew up in 1980. And uh, so you can go up there and see how things have progressed, what's gone on in, in nature uh, since that absolute, de uh, you know, absolute devastation that took place back in 1980. And, but they want you to stay on the designated trails and, uh, they want to make sure you stay on those trails um, so that the, the ground, uh, so that you don't spoil and uh, mess up uh, what nature is doing over all of these all, all of these years. And and there really are uh, several reasons, kind of, they don't want you off the trails. And one of the reasons is for the safety, for the for the the nature factor to keep the keep nature in good shape and keep things like you know the plants and all of that in in good health. Another reason they want you to stay on the designated trails is because um, it's dangerous to get off the trails. Very often here in in Washington State, uh, we'll hear a report of someone who's fallen off a mountain or a cliff. They're uh, out at the ocean and they want to get a better look. And so they're on uh, kind of some viewpoint on the trail and they want a better view than they can get there. So they, they climb off of the trail and get out on a, try to get on a ledge. And when they do it, they find out that, or they they fall and slip and sometimes die. Sometimes, um, sometimes they're rescued, but it's at great expense. Many times, the Coast Guard will have to bring out their helicopters and a and a rescue swimmer, and he'll someone will climb on a you know rappel off of a rope uh, off the helicopter and come down to rescue that person's life and huge expense in involved in in saving his life, all because he didn't stay on the designated trail. Uh, they want you to stay on the designated trails um, uh, for the safety of the property and for your own personal safety. They also want you to stay on the designated trails because it was designed that way. They designed trails for for people to walk on. <laughs> you get off of those trails, and um, and you're getting away from the plan that was that was designated, the plan that was that was set up. You know, I just got to thinking about that. Isn't life this exact same way? Um, life is lived better when we stay on designated trails. When we stay on the plan that um, that is moral and a plan that is um, that has truth behind it, um, it's always going to be better. It's going to it's going to be better for uh, those around us if we stay. Uh, in the boundaries and we stay on the trail, it's going to be better for those that are around us. And when we stay on the trails, it's going to be safer for our own lives. When we stay in the boundaries of morality and truth and right and wrong, um, it's going to be better for, for us personally and safer 
uh, for us personally. When a person gets out off of those boundaries and gets steps away from those boundaries, oftentimes it's, it takes great expense uh, to try to, uh, to recover them. And expense can be through some sorts of, uh, of, of programs, re recovery programs. I'm involved in uh, a program that I, I helped run. I helped uh, actually helped uh, write the material for a program called Help, I'm sorry, Hope Addictions Ministry. And uh, so I travel around the country and I speak at conferences that have to do, that are involved with the Hope Addition, Addictions Ministry. And uh, people get out, you know, you get out of, off of the trail in life and all of a sudden there can be all kinds of problems that happen in, in um, the um, prisons and jails and things in gr terrible expense, great expense to care for um, those that are that are in those situations have gotten off the trail and um, recovery is is uh, very expensive. I visited a fellow in in jail just yesterday. He said that the uh, population at the jail was uh, I don't remember um, it was it was uh, overcrowded by one quarter of the population the building was planned for and um, each person that was there, uh, it costs, uh, they, they, or they, I shouldn't say costs, they receive, the jail receives $100 a day per inmate um, just to be able to operate in, in this jail system and great expense there. And, and then also just, um, you know, because we, our creator gave us a plan. And when we get off that plan, uh, we all just stay on the plan because he gave us a plan and uh, just because that was the way it was designed and we operate better and we'll do better when we stay on the plan and just uh, stay on the designated trails. I just saw this sign, thought it was great. I even thought about that pets on a leash thing, <laughs> keep your pets on a leash. And uh, <laughs> there's even some analogy pictures that got, uh, that can come out of that. You know, maybe you could call your pets those things that distract you in your life. You've got a plan. You've got a direction you're going in your life but something distraction pulls you away and you got to keep that thing um, restrained you got to keep that thing contained that'll distract you away from the trail and away uh, from the direction you ought to go in life I'm Marvin McKenzie and uh, glad that you came on glad to be able to talk to you today and uh, you have a great day stay on the designated trails in your life